Hello and welcome to Detroit. Sim, well, to and the Isle of Wight. The sunny Isle of Wight. Which is a little bit today. A bit cloudy now. But, as you can tell by the, the actual name of the video, we're doing a little review. And since it's been now a week since this has come out, my livery, just to say before you ask. I found all the locations kind of so you won't I won't be cheating and saying where they are, apart from obviously that one and the ones which you can see. That goes for tickets and ice cream as well. But I thought we'd start right pair with this and I'm gonna go around each station along the route. Of course all the stations from the pair to Sat to Shanklin. And I'll go and say how realistic they look. The pier looks very realistic to start with. If anyone not posting that. If anyone is curious and why there's gaps like all that all over the place, that is part of them. It is realistic. That's the storm damage. Also, you can actually walk down up here if you don't know. On the road as well. All that is disused. I'll oh, take a bit of history as well while I'm here. Right here used to actually have four platforms. Of course, the two which you can see still. There was once one platform right here, on the opposite side, if it allows me, right down there. You can actually, in real life, still see the pillars for where the old track used to be. I'm straight back over here. This train's probably saying I can go now. That's all set up and ready for departure. And if you haven't noticed, it is a four-car unit. Which is 00, what was it? Not 10, dot, okay. Apparently, I thought the two the same trainer. Yep. In truth, this will this unit is actually scrapped in real life. If I run up the entirety of the truck bed, as I'm going to call it. Those sandbanks are are there just to tell you. Even though you won't, that won't stop you. That will, because that's the red signal in the game. That does not look like that in real life. Going to the terminal itself. In real life, there's actually an Isle of Steam Maui section here. If I go down here, the ticket office of the pier is here. There's actually a board around here that tells you all the train times and so forth. If I go down this side of the walkway, in here, there's that's where the waiting room is and the cafe, the Costa Cafe. Of course, down here is where you get onto the boat. That's actually staff parking up here. That bus should not be here. Of course, the original entrance and exit, of course, to when the paddle steamers used to stop here. None of the cranes are up here, which should be. I'll go back in via the actual boat offloading ramp this time. And run up here instead. Because, of course, you can, like I said, go out oh, these ways as well. I'm running around because I'm trying to hopefully meet the train at, at St John's, which I've put down. These are unbranded 38s, which are before Southwest Railway, then Railways took over the Iron Line. Took over Southwest trains. Technically, they're also so known as basically a stagecoach. You have to crouch to get in and out, just to tell you. And they have actually. No, they haven't fixed them. Fixed the brake gauges yet. Even as they did. I'd listen as I know the drive. Drive these anyway. Up to 15, because that's, of course, what the limit is. Uh, I always say to go up to 20 as soon as the, you know your joint under that bit, because then at least you know your past. That's the old tramway, if, if anything. Ever since pretty much the island's been electrified, that's been disused. When 38s actually first came over, the 1929 Jupes uh, was actually in service in the island. This was still in use. That's why it's electrified. When we get to Ride Espinade, it's not Ride Espinade before people ask how it's pronounced, it's Ride Espinade. Of course, those bits are on. Oh well. 
I'm not stopping where that's telling me to stop. I'll be stopping where you're supposed to stop in real life. Which is actually the end of the platform anyway. In truth, fit, we won't be fitting on to possibly small book or um, any other part really that much. You can stay down this time, see? Oh, okay. Lost by the Espinade. Right. No, no, track. This is actually like that. The platform is actually planted, not weeds. As you can tell, the platform used to go up more that way. I'm going back down to the front of this. Hide, that. Hide the HUD, why not? This is actually a space just to. Uh, there's actually a seat here, I believe, in real life, I think, if I remember rightly. Dot mate just not working when it should. We actually fit here, but the old when back in the Dean days when the pier was built, built for past steam trains originally. Originally, it wasn't actually built for steam. It was actually a um, on a bus service that was here. But of course, both platforms were this long, long up to that point up there. In real life, there is actually a gate there for our viewers. That bit in real life looks better than the bit that's in use. But it was of course double track. And first, when the 38s came over, that was actually still there, and it was removed around 2000, year 2000, I believe, or afterwards. It was definitely when their network south east delivery still. Try and log it not even to there. The ticket office is right there for the main line, though. There's a little room there which south west use. This is how they get to the other platform. This is the under where the, the under path would be. So that's not realistic. Of course, the bus is all down there, as far as I can go. And they're not all single deckers, and they're not double, not single deckers with doors like that in them. Just to say, if I leg it out, there's actually a little cafe, but ice, which actually sounds oddly enough, ice cream. Here's the way up. There's actually a plaque um, somewhere here. I can't pinpoint it exactly, but there's actually a plaque there promoting the pier for being the older seaside pier and also for the tram line. You can't actually walk along here just stay in real life. But that's where it would be. If I'm okay, so well I'm here, I'll do the train right now actually. With the everything inside. If you know if you don't know how to turn the passing light, I've just done the menu. One second. If I go and do that passenger lights are that button there and to turn them off is that button there. The guard uses this in truth. That one of these, if I go in there, um, I can't fully read that, but one of them you'd speak to the driver or one would speak to the driver and one would speak to everyone on the train and the other one would be to, to tell the driver that you can go and one there's actually a separate button for the door here for both sides of this because these doors actually don't have to shut to operate. So the guard can actually just stand like that and watch the train depart. Ignore the back hairs. Well, actually, I was going to say do the train line a bit more. There's Matt Pennison from Trainson. And does his own live streams and so forth. Got with its um, things and some of their adverts. The old fashioned route like the actual route maps they're the old ones if you look at them now they've actually got more of a the more of a fun thing to them i'm gonna ignore the door going through that sign but they've obviously got the other white steam railways brand then because that's w24 carbon which is the um steam railways queen of the railway and currently going through um overhaul her 10-year boiler overhaul and she is not actually start coming back black in br black it's um Malachite. Malachite Green is called. There's all the others there. See, okay, it's actually true, just to say before people say it's not. But it is. Bin bag doesn't actually blow in the wind. Let me leg it down to the train so I can get on. Well, no, no, the AI won't nick this train. Because it's not timetabled. 
in any shape or format. Shut the doors. Release that. If you aren't curious, if I do that, instantly apply the, the, the actual brake. Do that. Sometimes the compressor actually does go. I actually do, When doing this, I don't... Go up to 15 and let the train roll. That bridge is there in real life. It's not this planted like that. It's weedy, but it's actually been unweeded in the last couple of weeks due to the fact that they are actually been working on the pier. And I'm talking about because of the D stop which is coming over. Can't remember the class number. So for these, this is actually double track. You know? That's why you don't see anything over there with the wall. You, act, it's actually is double track for a course, and you can actually physically see the other line. Let know if you could see in there. There's been little huts, little passageways where you can actually walk into to get out of the way of the train when it comes through. But of course, that's been there since steam days. The reason why the island loses the underground stock is because of this tunnel. It was um, raised up at the end of steam for the, so it stops it flooding. It still doesn't work. It still floods quite badly. And the iron still uses semaphores, which is always fun. That will always say amber. Mainly for the fact that it's actually a distant signal, not a main signal. I've never really been on this section of the line physically outside apart from on the train so I can't fully tell 100% but it definitely looks realistic. I'm slowing down. Uh, sounds do sound realistic. The bridges are quite real as well. Oh, I thought that, come on. Come on. Yeah, all these are businesses and so forth along here. On the opposite side of this bridge, if that bridge doesn't slap me in the throat and push me somewhere. Of course, there's the main Asta. The signal protect would be protecting um, St. John itself. Southern Vectors actually do own that area. Like I said, we own Southern Vectors have more double deckers than single deckers. They don't look like that one bit. Uh, but the sometimes our school bus is parked up as well. Come on, get. Of course, all the things up for scenarios are probably popping up as well, aren't they? Like I said, the stop markers are popping up. A four-car train will stop right by the the actual um, way up and over bridge. It does not stop where it thinks it stops down the end of the platform. It stops there. Do that. Off I go. Of course, do the seat up every time as well. Of course, the windows open before people ask. And get up. Of course, St John's is the main is the headquarters of the railway, and where all the work gets done. You don't normally have to see that clearly into the workshop. I'm not going to kid it, lie. In real life, no, well, they might have moved it by now. But 002 is parked up here. 009 is parked over here. 007 is parked up into there at the moment. Going through a long extensive overhaul. There's only two trains which are working at the moment. The deal is two work trains working, I haven't checked before recording this. 004, however, is parked all the way down here. In there, down there, at the end of that line. I jump a bit. No. Where's this? before the train comes in. It's parked down there. And a couple of months ago now it was targeted with graffiti. But it's been painted recently grey, so you've probably seen that in my videos if you've seen any of them. Well St John's is actually quite realistic. There's actually a fence here there to stop people. It's only a little gap there to walk through. The wall actually goes up to about here in real life. But this is really like that platform does look like this by the way 
Years ago, when the 1929 stock and steam was in service, the bridge was actually here to get over. Not that long, overly tall bridge that's down here. Of course, in real life, there's actually a... In there, like on that wall palm, it stinks like no one's business here. There's actually the only reminder of BR right bang on that wall of the elm shed there. If we go up and over this bridge, I can't remember if you see over it. There you go. Over that area there used to be more part of the railway. It was the where you'd actually have steam drains parked up all over. Of course, steam and passenger carriages were all parked up here. Because since this was actually the headquarters of the railway and the signal box, you can't go in. I've have tried loads of times, as it proves it. Was once at um, Waterloo East, and it's been here ever since pretty much steam. That semaphore used to be massive. It used to control more, it used to have a load of arms on it. Of course, it used to have an arm for that line, because that line actually used to join onto the main line down there. But it used to control that line and that line. But in the winter, even more. I'll get some more when I get to Smallbrook. Of course, ever since Steam ended, that's been like that. You can't actually walk along here in real life, just to say. There's actually a fence right there and there. Well, welded on this side, and a sprung on this side. I'm not kidding because I know that. <laughs> so that's why you won't see any. Um, on that bridge is a new bridge. It's not like it's been there since Steam. No, mate, I'm going to have to wait at Red Signal for no apparent reason for the other drain to come. Because I'm a plonker. Right, um, close that. You can go down. You can go down. Before people ask, driving in real life, don't use two steps there. See if I can get the compressor to work. Fully applied. There you go, that's how you get the press to work. Off we trot. Up to 20, then 45. Currently there's actually a speed reduction here for 20. Oh, due to everything. But then it goes up to 45, back down to 25. Then at one point, when I last went on it, a week ago now, it went down to 5 due, through small work. That line was is actually used every so often in real life. It's like I said for shunting, but actually at the end there, there's wagons parked up at hoppers. If I'm right, don't know ask how they're used because there's no diesels actually. The online doesn't actually own any diesels anymore. Network Southeast days, there was actually two O threes parked up. You could use, but ever since pretty much stagecoach died. But stagecoach to over there was southeast. They haven't been existent. They have. Act they also owned a 05 shunter, which is called Fred. I'll tell you a funny story when we get to net to small book about that. But I'll tell you about the 03s. Both 03s that the island used back in Steam Day, back in Steam Days, back in net was southeast days. I believe are still in service on the main. Are actually in full use still on the mainland, shunting and stuff. One's in one's North London. Don't quote me on where the other one is. It's not at the scene where I right? just before you come up saying that. Oh well, the signal's green. It's obviously already passed. Um, it's already on its way. Um, so yeah, that's the truth into that. There it is. Shut power off. What have we got there, mate? What you, what's JI driving? 009. <laughs> I'm going straight through 009. That one's branded. If I come to a stop with small block junction now. The lovely place for the steam railway. Which I do volunteer at, that's how I know a lot. And today, as I'm recording this, 41298 is in steam. Say a bit more when we get stopped. Bench full break. Open the doors up. 
get off our seat. Oh, damn it. Right, this is small, but I've never got off that small book really for the Steam. I've only done it once. Because I, I get a different station for it. Since I can just walk to the Steam Railway almost. But if I walk all the way down the end of the platform almost. The platform does look like this before you ask. Go off, walk up into the, up here. Get your ticket for the Steam Railway. Walk onto the platform. There you go. Someone's nicked small book signal box just to tell you, which is right there for Steam. And as well, there's actually the without there. There's a little there's an arm. If you think of it, an arm which is coming out quite far. So the driver or fireman, depending on what type of steam engine we're using, which is currently today, which is an Ivet 4 and 298, it will be um, for the token to get on. You can hear it's very windy. For the, far, the driver to put, will reach out and put the token on. It saves having to do it for the, um, guard, the person on the platform mostly. There's actually one up at Wooten, because the single box up at Wooten works as well now. Is in use as well, even though the art Wooten's actually apparently broken at the moment. Of course, the run around loop, of course, for the steam rail, it actually is this long. Because we do run up to five carriages, that train should have gone by now. Um, if I run all the way down to it, in real life, you can look down into that lot there. And see the remains of the um, signal box. Of small book signal box as it was back in Steam days. This was actually built. This this is actually the newest platform on the entirety of the island before people come out and ask anything. And of course, the waiting rooms in here. If you are curious, that's a bigger door in real life. Um, I will tell you something while I'm here about the o, about the O5 thread. When the Island Line, well, at South East, Network South East as it was back then, end up, they thought, well, they found, then decided they didn't actually need that diesel. This line was still built back then. When they did it, they, um, there was actually past sleepers somewhere piled up to stop trains going up here and stuff. Even I'm going to say, I don't know what past sleepers will do to stop a train moving. It was, drove up, up here. I don't know how far they got, but Fred, the O5, was parked up somewhere up there in the steam where I found it when they extended down to Smallbrook. And it's only station limits at station, at Avon Street, currently in train story, because it's um, being protected, unlike the O3, which we leave outside all year round. And two feet, the other diesel shown just 235, I've got no idea what class that is. But it's another military vehicle, like 198 Royal Engineer and 192 Wagner is. We've got overall the steam railway, of course, got quite a few steam engines now. But of course, like I said, about 24 is currently out for overhaul. And that's the same with W37 Invincible, which came with the original Wild of Light DLC. And. and 192 Wagner, which came came with the return to Mad, with the Madley branch, and you choose, and then, and of course the Tech the Terrier pack. This will be from W8 Freshwater, which is also out for overhaul. I've got no dates or anything for that. If you are curious, on the turns of those of it, apart from 24 should be next year. Invincible should be next year, but since everything went popped up this year. I can't say 100% yes or no to that when it is coming back. But Wagon has been delayed indefinitely due to that. And in Vin and um, at 8, W8 Freshwater, no date because it's not priority. As long as it's back before W11 is that it comes out for overhaul. Other tri okay, so we've got part of both Iverts. One, like I said, 198, one, one Engineer. 41313 and 41298, either wise. And the tender diver, which is 446447, which is on permanent loan deal to the East Somerset. Another Hunzip which I've completely forgotten its number, but na na name is Juno, and on permanent loan, on a per permanent loan deal with um, the National Railway Music Collect Music uh, Museum, 
that's at locomotion, I believe now. Of course, we've got number 38 Ajax, which is waiting overhaul and currently be, um, being used as a museum piece. Um, an E1, one, which is the last surviving E1, like we've got with 24, the last surviving Adam's O2 tank. The E1 tank is currently waiting for a new workshop, so we're not touching it. It's currently missing its boiler as well, because we removed it a couple of months ago, week, year, about a year or something ago. Now we removed the bunk, its boiler, but let alone it wasn't going to do it. We weren't gonna, we had to get it off anyway so we could actually paint inside because we're preserving it and so forth at the moment. It's, like I said, like the, said, ever since it's come to the island it's been not in steam. Of course, the other and stuff we've had visiting Steam locos though we've had um, Birch Grove completely wrong what E number that is what E4 I think it is if comp below if I'm wrong in that um, and 203 shunters we've had on holiday blue bit in BR blue uh, I can't remember what the name of the 30 class 33 diesel was but we had it was in BR blue and we've had that. We've had Stephanie as well on holiday. I think Friend Church has come over at one point. And I can't. There's one other engine, but I can't fully remember what it was. But it never used. Was it ran on the passenger stop due to it being unfitted, due to it only having vacuum. Since the island uses air brakes, that's why all of our engines have an air pump on them. Apart from fair enough. The ones that we don't have in the island don't have air pumps on them. But, well, the um, 46447 has a pipeline on it so we can use it with air stock. I better slow down for 20. Um, so, kind of yes and no. But of course, you have the um, Hunslet Juno is not fitted with vacuum. I think it's actually fitted with vacuum now. Pipes, but it hasn't got air on it. It was restored to museum quality where it is now. In real life there's no whistle board there. Because they actually whistle just as they depart. In, there's actually not... In real life there's not whistle board in that direction either. But they whistle just as they depart. Braden. From Braden here, it's not Braden, as I've heard people say, it's Braden. Because I know a lot of people seem to have problems saying our names of places. Because people call a steam loco, which was, an, a, which was actually supposed to be su su to survive. Oh, I never opened the doors. To um, survive into the preservation, but BR cut it up by accident. Apparently, I don't think they did. And it's called Chale, not Kale. Before people start asking that question, this is Braden. I've never got off at Braden before you ask, but I know I've seen Braden a lot. Because if you've seen the videos of them, I think I suppose stopped down the platform a bit more, but never mind. I stopped at the end of the platform by accident. Though. You. This is where they announced the new trains coming over. Of course, in there's actually a little cafe and a little shop, I believe, museum and everything. You can't actually get over this bridge in real life. There's a fence there. There's someone actually filmed, and there's a cat sat on the stairs asleep. If I walk over it, but there's a fence there, but you can't. It will on selected days you can get over. And go out in here, and actually see the signal box, and go into the signal box in real life. It's been restored. It when the line was shut and that steam ended, that was disused. In real life, this is not the same height. This is a step down here. There's actually another that this platform is be has been disused since the 80s, I believe. 
because the track, which was, well, of course, here, was actually used on the Steam Railway. Was donated to the Steam Railway for the extension to small, do small book. But over here, well, I said the disused platform is now. Side the line, which will be soon, because this side is going to get put back into service at some point. Used to go off all over that way to for a branch line, which was actually shut back in the 1950s. To put it like when the line, line the island started losing its railways, and two O2s were cut up at that point as well when that line got removed. But they got cut up more because they didn't need them, and they were the only two O2s on the island that were fitted with push pull sir, being that were push full fitted. But then they were used for spare parts, I believe. Which is kind of sad to know. I can't remember what they're called. Because it went from here to St. Louis. My brain's gone dead. Um, <laughs> but it went all the way to Benbridge. And Benbridge was actually a seaport back then. And that's where the trains came in as well. Trains, call and everything came in to the island. Not just at um, Newport. Of course, that's where the line at Smallbrook diverges off to Newport. Of course, goes through the village of Hayden Street. Wooten. Whippenham. Then Newport. Then from Newport, it went to East Cow To, um, Cowles. Ventnor West, because this is the way to Ventnor itself. Ventnor had two stations before you ask why. And it had the everything to, and the, the line to Yarmouth and Yarmouth and Freshwater, which closed in the 1950s as well. Up to 20 then 45. And ever since it's been, they shut down in the 1950s. They did. Due to lack of use, and the lines between New Ride, Ride Ventnor, Ride to Ventnor, Ride to Newport, and Ride and Newport to East Cow to Cowles, survived up to the 1960s when the lines were shut down, and they were almost Dr. Beechin wanted to shut the entirety of the island. Thankfully, he didn't. But before World War Two, in truth, the island was down for electrification, all the way to Ventnor. Nowadays, people don't know why they shut the line down to Ventnor. Just to say, but nowadays a bus number seven, yeah, number no, it's either number seven or, or number number three or number. I can't remember which one it is now, well, it's on my head, but you can get down to Ventnor via one of those two buses. That should be a whistleblower pointing my way. Because there's a crossing right here. Um, so, yeah, I'm probably speeding. But I'm going to be coasting down anyway. For sand down. Of course, the fan up there does work if people are curious, but I don't know how to turn it on. People, drivers in real life don't drive the cab light on before you ask. <laughs> Just like turn the and see him. Oh no, I'm not speeding. Wipers. Whistle. The actual brake. Reverser. And the um, dead man's handle. If you don't push it down, you the balance of brakes will apply. That bridge is double track in real life. Not like that. As we approach sand down, this signal will always show that. There's a fit the 15 limit reduction shown, but not the 10 limit. So if you are what doing this hudless, or even with the HUD, be cautious. There is an a there is um a fit 10, 15 then 10 mile an hour limit on this side. The other side's 15. And I'm going to say, you're going to be very confused about some when you get here with the, with the platform numbers. I'm going to speed very badly. I'm saying about the 15, there's me speeding. Um, I'm going to let the train coast down to 10. Of course, the line 
used to go that way and have a dead end platform went into Newport that way. It's a pain at the tens here, but I can't help it. I don't actually know why the ten there's a ten limit, uh, limit actually here. It's a pain I know for fact. Yeah, I'm all trying. Even though this is kind of called a review, it's all so I can show off. See how realistic it is, since I've actually seen some doing on the East Coast way. I've got, I think it's actually that lamp. Oh, wait, so it stops the train moving. So it doesn't, well, I max break it all the time. Get it up. Shh, don't bring that up. Don't get it. That sand half stopped in the wrong spot again. Uh, my full uh, trick again. Of course, there's a water handler. Uh, little, I actually, when I last went, the person was standing around here, was, uh, actually, I was under here. I was on the opposite platform, oddly enough waiting for the one coming back from Shankland. It was, um, this is why it's quite confusing, Second, uh, platform numbers are odd. It was saying about the new trains, this was a week ago, so it'd be, uh, and he, I could hear him saying the new trains could be arriving in three weeks, which was a week ago, so it'd be two weeks. Better take it with a pinch of salt. There's a little W8 Smiths there, Andrew cafe and everything in there as well. I'm gonna cheat and use the platform walk down the end of the platform and go up and down. Um platform one, platform two, don't ask why. So this might this would be platform three in real life. The thirty eights were delivered here. They were literally craned up, dumped on the track and shunted up and down. Back under the platform and so forth. By the nineteen twenty nine tube stock. Which is also removed at that point as well. Currently in real life, since it's not here, won't be here, there is a massive pile of stone, to put it like, ballast, about there. But that's only there for them to be the track near it. Out of curiosity, can I actually change this point? Oh well. I did not know that. Maybe you learn something new every day. You can probably do it to this one as well. Yeah, you can. Of course, in rule, uh, in this one down here, they should be blocked in the roof. I believe this is actually that would not is not done via that. There is a point motor there, which is controlled by um, St John's. No longer here. With the signal box was destroyed around the 1980s when the 38s came over. There's a whole canopy here, in truth, the pack I was bound. Of course, in the game sense, you can't actually see where the signal box used to be. But if I remember rightly, it's around here. Around where that bench is, around here it is. I think. On a high pla- high. It's quite high, over the canopy, of course. But you could, so you could actually see it. It's a quite prominent sight when you sit used to it. Gone. Yes, it's used the underpass, which stinks in real life. Um, but to join. So I will admit they have tried. The Rivet Games have got it as real. Tried to get it as realistic as possible. So I will give them that. Of course, like I said, there's still a lot of stuff missing. Off we go. Right. I've got to remember since I'm only a ten, as I'm a four coach train. Not to accelerate as soon as you hit the point. <laughs> and the opposite way for 45, not to, as soon as you hit the signal coming the opposite way. Because that's actually the point to accelerate. Have I executed that point? Yes, I have. Right. And uh, accelerate up to 15. If you are curious, go up to 14 miles an hour, cause that, which is that there. Then for the 45, I've got bungs crew for. Yeah, I'm clear now. Right, I'm up to, going up to 45. This section has always been single track. Like the section between 
Dean Smallbrook and um, Zach and Braden was also single tracked. But they actually did it. They made it with double tracking in mind. So they had plan on double tracking it. So they might have had had it, had this part here, between Sandown and Shanking double track as well in mind at one point. Because on oh, the opposite side of like, I'll point it out when we get there. You can quite clearly see where the road goes over from the road, main road from Shanklin, which you can drive to Sandown wide, type of thing. You can quite clearly see on when you walk and on the train, if you look out the window, of course, it would be double track. That bridge is there in real life, and it's. Used to be a con used to be a brick bridge, but since electrification, it's been metal. Well, Lake still hasn't loaded. Come on, this is the only problem. Come on, Lake, load up. There's <sighs> uh, break for break to come in. There's a bridge down there to go across, but there's not in the game. Just to say. That's the only bit, that's not realistic. This was actually the newest platform until Smallbrook. I've slowed down a bit too much. And yes, I'm going to have to stop at the end of the platform. So, yeah, this is realistic for this. On goes the compressor again, I've just noticed. Um, See, I might end up saying giving up the seat movement. But, um, yeah, this is literally what it's like. This is a wooden platform in the middle of nowhere in the sense of it. Because Sandown used to be the staging for, Brain for Lake as well. I never know why they built one at Lake, to be honest with you. Before you ask, in real life, there's a stop board right here. Nest marker for every train, two and four. Of course, the island's... The island has not used a four card unit in about three, four years now. Down there is the way down. If you watched the video that I put last week, you see me stand down there, watch the train as it departed. Literally, there's not much here. To say the least. Look at it all the way back down to the. Yeah. The whistle board, you see, is actually the one which, if you watch that video, I keep quoting it, so I'm not going to put it down in the description because I can tell you that. It probably ain't going to be that hard to find. Is actually that mark would be for. I've done the menu again. Clear off. Proves that it was end the track. Of course, they whistle as they depart here. The four cars actually. The two car, I believe, where the camera was. Of course, up to 45, and then there's 15 as you enter the platform at um, Shanklin. Fuck it. Oh, fuck. Turn around. There's pals in here. So, back crossings there where I've got. And watch the train go by. Twice. I should say, I've done one at, um, just one at between St. St. John's and, um, Small Book once. This is the bridge I'm on about. Don't know if it's in gate, if there's another bridge there for the, the best in Silence. It doesn't in game, but in real life, you can actually see, physically notice there's a bit there where you can double track it. The I've stood on that bridge up there as well. And you've probably seen that in the video because you've and there you also see the end of two seals having a fight. I thought I'd go up the hill. If you are curious about all the coasting board, which are those um diamonds, which you can see on the side of the track now, I'll try and point one up here out. Don't use those as coasting points. They've not been moved and they were there originally for the 1932, 1929 stock. And even the 1929 stock came over, you could still physically see a lot more down here. Oh, 
will shut the power and start breaking them. Those. I would not coast full stop down this hill. I'd be breaking down it more than coast. I'm ignoring that point. Well, at least I can coast down to 15. Now. But, of course I'll go when it just stops. I won't shut the doors because it will end everything here and I don't want to do that just yet. I'm not stopping where that thinks I'm going to stop. Because this platform's long enough, I can't fully remember where they stop. Because, like I said, they have not run a four-car train for ages. Um, and I believe it's about here. Full break and open doors. Sod opening that door. Uh, um. Oddly enough, I think I'm going to have to open that door up for it to count. But <clears throat> if I go down here, you can down here. There used to be a viaduct over that brick there, or that way over there. Though I don't think that road was there back then. But a viaduct straight over, and it went, like I said, down to Ventnor far from Ventnor, and it went inland because the ar the actual railway follows the coast a lot this used to be a double track station as well but I set up this end the, sig the booking office in here doesn't always open just to tell you it will not fully always open so this is the way in and out if you watch the all the stations bonus video of when Jeff came to the island the woman, can't remember her name, goes out there and talks, and he runs all the way down here. Of course, dude, this is when they're two car, two car, not four car. It gets the the shot at the front of the train, um, then shoots off down smaller. But like I said, that's the way in and out. There should be a bus stop about there, I think, where the markers. If I run down here, I can see it easier now. Cross line. Of course, there used to be a double track here. And the platform goes down to the same minute as that one. And there would be in the centre of the down there as well. Signal box as well somewhere. Can't fully remember where. But back when the 1929 stop originally came over, you could still see a semaphore parked up there. Like I said at the pier, that won't stop you from... Stop you? That will. Because that's red light, red signal in the game. I think that'll do it for the re 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 this review. I'm going to go and make sure this train can do what it's supposed to do by offloading passengers. For some strange reason, I need to open both doors up. But I will end it here. I won't look at that side because that looks awful. If you're curious how to set the train up, to headlight off, headlight, instrument lights off. Keep the brake in the EP max. Remove the, that one. That. And then remove that. Then put the seat up. You can leave the windows open. They actually do that in real life. Crutch and close the door. Walk all the way down to the end of the platform and then re turn the lights on. Do everything. So if you just walk down the platform. Put the seat down, sit down, put that in, turn it on, put that part in for the ver uh, turn on that, turn on that. If you haven't turned the lights on, like I said, like you would have done hopefully by that point. Run all the way back down to the end, go want to the light if I turn them off, proof of it, off, and on. And by that point, you should be all ready to lock the doors and basically go wham. You can go back up. I will shut those and I'll see.
So I don't know if I'll be talking in much videos. I might be doing some more like this. Jesus, I've been a lot badly that time. Um, but I will do a couple of videos here and there perhaps talking. But for all the island line, yeah, I'm probably going to be a bit biased by saying this. But I do give it out, give it a 10 out of 10. But it will only get a 9 out of 10 if the Sea Maori comes, and that will definitely get a 10 out of 10. Because <laughs> I'll be driving that every day. I'm not even kidding by that. I will be driving it every day. No, so, like I say, I'm going to leave it here. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment, go on, review down below. So, when I see, when I talk in the next one, I don't know. No, I probably won't be talking in the next video. I'll be doing another one just by having no sound. With by me talking, you just hear everything outside. It will the uh, next uh, time in theory you would be seeing an iron nine, the iron nine again. Will be when I do another my own scenario with a two with a four car unit again. Before people ask, I'm not getting new DLC that's come out today, on the today, which is the Munich to Angsburg route. I'm gonna wait until for console since I'm on console. As you can probably plainly tell. I will be getting that when it's on sale. Because I'm not going to get it at the moment. Because I don't think 24 well, 24.99 5 quid if you want to put it easy. Is worth it. Uh, like, like I always say. say I know. I'm also waiting for the layers to get added. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like I said. And hope you all have a very awesome day. Goodbye.